I'm the Grow Boss. I write the Grow Book and Equipment Guide. And in this video, we're going to go over trimming. Okay, so this is sort of a part two trimming video because before we shape up these other plants, I just want to show you what this plant looks like because this is the plant that we shaped up two weeks ago. We've let all three plants grow, but you can see the nice round shape on this plant, right? You can see how the canopy is kind of uniform. You can see how the tops are starting to come up. And then you look at this plant, which I didn't trim, and you can see how messy it is that some tops have started to grow tall. Some are growing out. They're coming up from the middle, but the energy isn't really directed. Now, this was the plant I trimmed two weeks ago, and you can see in that other video what they both look like, but now you can see how much cleaner this is. And when I put it into a trellis, you'll see how much better it is to shape up your plant like this. Before we go on though, let's do a quick review. This is what she looked like two weeks ago before we trimmed her. This is what she looks like after we trimmed her. And then this is two weeks later, and she's getting ready to be trimmed again before we weave her into this trellis. So I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time cleaning her up and let's see what she looks like when I'm done. Remember, we always start at the bottom and work our way up because bugs come from the bottom up and that's always where the popcorn, those little nug buds that you don't really want are. So we clear the bottom and focus on the top. On this branch, I'm going to go ahead and take out all the growth shoots because we're probably going to lay this branch down like this later into the trellis and you'll see why I pull out the growth shoots because I don't want these turning up. I'm leaving the leaves but I'm pulling out the little growth shoots from the spaces in between. A low branch like this doesn't stand much of a chance of coming out the top unless you strip off all of the lower growth and just leave the, the one top shoot and then later maybe we can pull this up the middle and out the top but we'll see the temptation is always to leave it because you're thinking another top but we'll have to see later That sucks, but sometimes it happens. And it really is amazing. Every time you turn the plant, you see a whole bunch of new problems and a whole bunch of new stuff to trim. So don't take too much off in any one area. Do a little bit, turn the plant, do a little more, and come back to it. Just look at all this trash we took off her and that one broken branch. And that's only been in the two weeks since we trimmed her last time. Look at how much trash we took off her two weeks ago. And that's why I always tell you, you got to focus your plant. You got to give her some direction because the last thing you want to do is waste all that time growing leaf and tops and branches that you're not going to use in flower. And if you want more information about topping, lollipopping, and super cropping your plants, so you make sure that you have the right shaped plant for your light and that you're getting the most weight you can, well, you can find all that information in my grow book and my No More Grow More Fact Cards. Okay, so there's a couple of things that you guys usually hear me say like, Watts is weight. And the reason I say that is because you can't grow 201 watts of plant with a 200 watt light. That would be like getting 11 miles from 10 miles worth of gas. Light is the energy in this equation. So if you have a 400 watt light, you can grow 400 watts worth of plant. I don't care if you grow four 100 watt plants 
one 400 watt plant, eight 50 watt plants, or 400 little cuttings. 400 watts worth of light is going to get you 400 watts worth of plant. And if you grow too much plant, you'll see that the bottom starts to suffer because of it. So one of the things that I always like it, to, I always try to explain to you guys to help you consider is this. Let's say both of these plants were under a 400 watt light. And you saw how this plant used to look something like this. If I can grow this much plant with a 400 watt light, then if I strip her down to this, then technically this would be 300 watts worth of plant. So you have to consider that because if she has like 25% leaf and plant material, then you would need to lower your nutrients again and possibly your light. Just something to think about because plant size is related to light. And whenever we talk about light, I always have to stop and remind you, the number one problem that calls my helpline is always too much light. Because if you wanna get yields like this, your shit's gotta look good, like this. Because you're never gonna get those yields if you flower sick, shitty plants like these that run into the light like this or have mold and mildew on them. Before we go back to trimming, if you want a little more information about light and yield, you should watch my light rail videos or my Ushio comparison video or my Nickel City Wholesale Bad Boy 1-2-3 light rotation video that explains everything you need to know about light and rotation. All right, let's go back to trimming now. With branches like these, it's tricky because you always have to be aware of your final shape. And remember, you can always go back and take more later. And I think I'm about done here. Let's take a look at some before and after photos. Okay, this is what she looked like two weeks ago before we trimmed her. This is what she looked like after we trimmed her. Then, two weeks later, she grew into this. And then we trimmed her back into this to get her ready to put her into the trellis like this. You can, of course, watch that trellis video here on YouTube, or you can switch over to my website, thehydrochannel.com. Okay, I'm the Grow Boss. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to buy my books, you can find them on eBay, Amazon, my website, thegrowboss.com, or at your local hydro store. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, growing is tough, so call me before you quit.